We have been living in a fast food culture for the last 50 years. We are really up against a whole institutional thinking that is preventing us from nourishing our children. It's crucial that we change our children's relationship to food. We have a broken food system, and we have to change that. I believe deeply that we show respect for our students' minds and bodies through the food that we serve them. As a school district, we have the incredible opportunity to give them really great, delicious food that not only nourishes their bodies, but also their minds. I want a free, organic, sustainable school lunch for every student in this country. We can do this not only in the state of California, but we could do it throughout the country. We could do it throughout the world. Edible education is an idea to integrate food into an academic curriculum. Clearly having a kitchen classroom and a garden in the school is an incredible asset for everybody. But if you do not have your school lunch on board, there's a huge disconnect for students. We want to improve our school lunch program so that there's a connection between the nutrition education program and the actual food that kids are eating on a daily basis. I'm hoping to teach school lunch as an academic subject. When you think about lunch as an academic subject, it's giving it credibility. It's not time out of your school day where you turn off your brain and you're not learning. It should be something that they value as part of their school day as well. I think the best way to teach people about this idea is to actually serve them a free school lunch. Welcome to School lunch as an academic subject. I think it's an idea whose time has come. This is a vision of what could be. I like cooking food and preparing food. It makes me happy inside. I like the different colors in the meals. The salad was green. The chickpeas were orange, and I just like seeing different colors. It just tasted good. Normally, school lunches are like cold or just not fresh. You can tell they're processed. These kids are really hungry for the ideas of cooking and of setting a table, of tasting something. I think hunger exists in many different ways within our school community. There are the students who have no food in the fridge at home. So they rely on us 100% for all the nutrients that they're going to receive throughout the day. But then we also have students who are consuming empty calories throughout the day. I can't tell you how many students I've talked to who subsist on water or Gatorade or even just six slices of white bread. It's not just concentrated in certain schools in certain neighborhoods. Hunger exists all throughout our district. And I personally don't believe that any kid should have to know if they have money or don't have money. You know, like that shouldn't be a part of their school day. That shouldn't qualify them for food or not qualify for them for food. Having a program where there's free, organic, sustainable lunches to our students is certainly within the realm of possibility. So if we fully believe that hungry students have a hard time learning, then I don't understand how we couldn't invest in a program that allows our students to be nourished and thrive. I'm imagining that this project could be school-supported agriculture, where a whole school could support any number of farmers or ranchers or fishermen. And in that way, it assures these precious farmers an income. With intention, you can feed children the best food on earth within the school budget and far exceeding anything you'd ever imagine in terms of the return on what happens for children when their minds and bodies are nourished. In order to make school lunch an academic subject, it's really going to take the teachers, the superintendents of schools, the mayors of cities, the governors of states, and ultimately the voices of children. Their belief in this, we must change school lunch.